Hi folks, Doc Jake from Sioux Nation Ag Center here. Now, although I enjoyed his movie, I would have to disagree with Ron Burgundy in that milk is always a good choice, especially for a newborn baby calf. That first milk a calf gets, known as colostrum, is essential for the calf's long-term health and productivity. The question then becomes, what is this colostrum, and why is it so important, and lastly, how soon does this calf need it in order to get these benefits to health and productivity? Now why this colostrum is so important is because it's full of antibodies and other immune proteins. When the calf drinks that colostrum from the cow, the antibodies and immune proteins in the colostrum are able to pass through the wall of the calf's gut and enter the bloodstream. There, they're able to fight off different causes of infection that the calf might encounter. Now, because it doesn't take any effort on the part of the calf in order to make this immunity, this is called passive transfer of immunity. Now, if the calf doesn't get this colostrum soon enough after birth and the gut wall closes, letting these antibodies not be able to cross that barrier, then we refer to this situation as failure of passive transfer. As I alluded to before, the gut wall of the calf begins to close rapidly after birth. Closure of the gut wall begins at six hours after birth. By 12 hours, it's half closed. And by 24 hours, it's completely closed, not allowing the Ah! not allowing the calf to be able to uptake any more antibodies. In order to give the calf its best opportunity for a good start, we want to make sure that the calf gets colostrum within that first two hours after birth. Now, in order to achieve adequate passive transfer, a calf usually needs around two quarts of colostrum. But keep in mind, colostrum quality varies. Typically, colostrum that is thick and gold-colored is a lot better colostrum and has more antibodies than the stuff that's thin and white, like regular milk would be. To receive an adequate dose of colostrum, ideally the calf stands up and nurses the cow on its own. However, if that doesn't happen within the first two hours, it's time for us to intervene. We need to get in there and tube that calf at least half its dose of colostrum within those first two hours. If you have to pull a calf out of a cow, Typically, that calf will not get up and nurse in that first two hours. In these cases, once the calf's lungs are clear, I typically recommend to tube it at least that half first dose of colostrum to make sure that it gets off to a good start. The best option for colostrum is to milk the cow out and give that to the calf through a tube feeder. Oh, hey, Doc. Hey, is it okay to milk out a cow and give that colostrum to a different calf? Absolutely, Generic Rancher Ron. You can take colostrum from one cow in your herd and administer it to a calf off of another cow in order for that calf to get enough colostrum. While you're at it, if you have excess colostrum, I would recommend saving it. To do so, just take a gallon freezer bag and fill it about half full of that colostrum. Then lay it flat in the freezer so it freezes in a much more handy uh, package in order to store. Then when you need that colostrum, simply put this bag in a pool of lukewarm water in the sink, and once it is thawed out, you can administer it to the calf that needs colostrum. Now, if your cow doesn't have any colostrum and you don't have any colostrum saved from your herd, I would recommend going out and getting a dried colostrum replacer. The good kind are the ones that are made by actual bovine colostrum that have been dried so that you can simply add water and rehydrate. Don't settle for the imitation ones that are made from plasma. It's the same thing as comparing milk to these things that try to pass as milk. There's no substitute for the original. Everything else is just nut juice. So folks, if you have any other questions about colostrum for your calves, or you're in need of a colostrum replacer, feel free to reach out to us at Sioux Nation Ag Center. We have colostrum replacer on hand when you need it as well as the people that can help work through those situations and answer those questions about colostrum and failure of passive transfer. Because you know getting your calves off to a good start is critical to feeding that bottom line. Now in general, to receive adequate passive transfer, at least two quarts of colostrum is needed. But keep in mind that the quality of colostrum varies. Wrong. Open sesame. 
That doesn't get old. Oh no, I gotta get this calf to drink. Urge. All right, let's get out here and get this job done. Will that rooster ever shut up? Gosh, I love no. 